leather equals quality because I know that I definitely used to be a part of that group who thought that leather means that they are a great quality pair of shoes. Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about wearing leather as a vegan and this video might be interesting for any one of you guys who is new to veganism or who is just starting out their journey to being a vegan. And I remember when I first became vegan, it took me really quite a while to realize where leather actually does come from. And for the longest time, I really thought that leather is just a byproduct of the meat industry. So it wasn't that bad for me to be buying leather or wearing leather because I just thought that, well, the harm has already sort of been done when the cow was, you know, um, killed for its meat. So, you know, what else is gonna be done with its corpses, I guess. But yeah, then I educated myself and I found out that actually most leather is not a byproduct of the meat industry and they mostly come from India or China where cows are raised solely for the purpose of being made into leather shoes, bags or jackets. And these cows are also living in such terrible living conditions and they are not fed enough and they are hungry and etc etc i won't go too much into that but i will leave a couple of links down below where you can go see what is behind the leather industry so yeah if you want to know more about that go check them out and educate yourself but now we'll go to the point where you are vegan and you're saying you don't want to support the leather industry anymore and you're thinking okay but i have all of these shoes and they are all leather and i have this great jacket and it's my favorite jacket and it's the leather jacket that you have and I hope you guys know this already, but of course it's totally 100% okay for you guys to be using those clothes because you did buy them when you were not a vegan and you were unaware of what is behind that industry and you were emotionally maybe not evolved or not, not evolved, you were emotionally not involved in the whole veganism aspect. So don't worry about that. I would try not to think too much about it. You know, the, in that case, the harm has really already been done and there's nothing you can do about it. And I would say you shouldn't go and buy yourself a whole bunch of new shoes just because you're a vegan now. I myself, you know, had my old leather shoes still for quite a while until at some point I just couldn't wear them anymore because I was so aware of where they come from. So it just started to feel kind of, you know, barbaric to even be wearing leather shoes because for me they were pretty much just wearing the skin of a beautiful animal and I didn't want to be doing that anymore. So that might happen to you guys as well. At some point you just can't do it anymore, but it might also not happen and that's completely okay. What vegans don't do, however, is go buy new leather products because if you do buy new leather products, that is showing the industry that you have a demand or we as humans have a demand for this leather and then that cruel industry will keep on going and yeah, that's what we don't want to do. I also wanted to touch the fact about leather equals quality because I know that I definitely used to be a part of that group who thought that leather means that they are a great quality pair of shoes or a great quality jacket or you know I always remember maybe wanting to have that nice Louis Vuitton bag that probably for sure is made out of leather and you know it must be good quality because one it's Louis Vuitton and two it's made out of leather and now that I look back to that time I really feel like okay like why why do we all think that leather is such good quality what is so quality about it i mean it is literally the skin of an animal and for sure i mean i know if you go look at those videos or the article that i did link down below you will know that of course it takes a lot of things to make that leather from that animal actually usable so of course there's a lot of artisanry behind it but in the end it's still the skin of an animal, so what makes it that great quality? Hmm? I don't know. And there are so many options for shoes or coats or bags that are not leather. And this is usually called like fake leather or even pleather, and I'm sure it has a number of other names too. And you can find very cheap options as well. In fact, you will probably realize that most shoes and jackets that are fake leather are much cheaper than real leather is. But the problem there is, of course, very often that they're not of that great quality. And especially if you do live in winter climates, then you do want to have a good quality pair of shoes. But the good news is there are great 
vegan shoe companies out there and I believe the number is growing by the minute because veganism is also such a trend at the moment and it is in demand. So just go make some research and find out where in your country they sell great quality vegan shoes. And I will also leave a link down below. It is an article which kind of names the 20 best vegan shoe companies or something. So you can just see and find some inspiration that there really are some great companies out there that make great quality shoes that are not vegan and that are probably even eco-friendly. Like they're made out of crazy material like I believe you can even make pineapple skin leather these days and make that into shoes or jackets so do go make your research it's a very interesting world out there and just know that there is absolutely no reason that you should have to buy leather and there is no reason to think that leather equals the best quality there are other great quality materials out there as well so that was pretty much all I wanted to say about wearing leather as a vegan. So I do hope that this video could help any one of you guys out. And I always love hearing from you guys as well. So please do remember to comment down below if you already are a vegan. How long did it take you to realize what actually is behind the leather industry? And what do you think about wearing leather as a vegan? Do you think it's a yes or a no? Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope that you did like it and remember to give it a thumbs up if you did like it and also share this video with any of your new vegan friends or anybody who's interested in veganism. And also I would love to see you guys in my next video so do go subscribe to my channel down below on that red button. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye bye.